What you see behind me is the Dumont Osri. It's a monument uh, built in commemoration of the fallen from the Verdun battle in 1916. Now the Osri is actually built over the skeletal remains of these soldiers, which I'll show you later on. This, this Osri, this commemorative uh, building was built on the initiative of a gentleman called Charles Ginsty, or Ginsty, the Bishop of Verdun, uh, and was inaugurated in 1932 uh, by the French President Charles Le Brun. The Battle of Verdun lasted over 300 days, from the 21st of February to the 19th December 1916. There was over 230,000 dead on both sides, with over 70,000 casualties. All the fighting of Verdun and its surrounding areas was over a 28 kilometre square, which is roughly eight miles. Both German and French sides called it the Hell of Verdun. The Osri measures 137 metres in length and 46 metres in height to the top of the tower, which equates to 445 foot to 137 foot in height. Now this osry was built on top of the, of the bones of 130,000 French and German soldiers. So if you're, in a, if you're in a bit of a, a disposition where you don't want to see these, then please look away soon because I'm going to show you, you can actually see the bones of these dead soldiers underneath this uh, building. Okay, let's nip inside the building and have a look around what's inside. just pay six euros each to come and walk up to the top of the tower to have a look round. It's all steps at the moment. I've not seen one lift. Every so often you'll get these uh, little um, seats to sit on because uh, there's no lifts. So it's a good place if you're tired, you can sit down have a minute. Now, if you move them stones there, it's to get that bell down. And that's a roughly a far shot of me to drop down there. This is the graveyard in front of the Osri. It's the largest French graveyard from World War I. In total, it's all 6,142 graves. It's now created in 1923 by André Maginot, who later became Minister of War, and he gave the go-ahead for the Maginot Line. I can't seem to find much information about these graves. Um, they're obviously, I think they're um, from the French colonies. Now, this person didn't die in the Verdun battle because 16th to 10th, 1917, Battle of Verdun finished uh, December 19th, 1916. 
but obviously it was, fought in, it was fighting on behalf of the French and the Allies. This is, uh, I think, a fairly new um, monument erected um, regarding the 28,000 Muslims that fought in the Battle of Verdun that were, were, were killed and are buried actually across the cemetery over here. Uh, it was erected, or I should say, it was inaugurated by Jacques Chirac to commemorate um, the people, Muslims that died, as well as the, uh, the, uh, as the French um, that um, died in the Battle of Verdun. Uh, they held Verdun out for 300 days, which is really a year, basically. Uh, but Muslims are not. Christians, Hindus, Sikhs, every other faith fought in uh, the First World War. And um, bullets and bombs don't discriminate. We will remember them.